lightning protection is a very sophisticated engineering practice that should be done by expert people who are knowledgeable in the field. If you look at the lighting protection systems practiced in the world, the most comprehensive guidance for lightning protection is given by the IEC 62305 standard. Now this standard has four parts. You can see here that uh, IEC 62305 uh, which has last been published in 2010. It has four parts which guides you at various, various stages of lightning protection. Now these uh, IEC standards uh, will give you the recommendation on whether you need lightning protection. This is very important because you need to do a risk assessment and decide whether actually you need lightning protection for your system. Sometimes you may not need lightning protection. When you do not work out the risk assessment one issue that you may face is that you may fall to the the prey of uh, lightning protection vendors who will sell you lightning protection whether it is needed or not and then the standards will guide you in designing the protection system selection of materials and installation of the components so that at the end of the day, you may get a very good system that will protect your building, property, services, your livestock, and most importantly, the human life. Now, countries like South Africa uh, have adopted the IEC standards by doing modifications suitable for their country. There are many countries in the world which has adopted such systems, the, the IEC standard recommended practices. For example, in South Africa we say, uh, we, we call the standard as SANS, South African National Standard 62305. But unfortunately, in almost all other countries in African continent, people do not practice any standard recognized in the world. So this is one big problem of protecting and safeguarding the people and property in this continent. Therefore, we would like to emphasize that your National Standard Committee, your government, should adopt a proper standard which is suitable to your country. And one of the best ways of doing that is adopting the IEC standards into your country with the necessary modifications. In the absence of such standards, the people who take the advantage are the vendors who sell fraudulent lightning protection systems. There are many cases in the world where such wrong lightning protection system sold by many companies sometimes even from developed countries from Europe have been failed resulting many uh, service and property damage 
and also human injuries, even human deaths. Therefore, the best advice that I can give you is that get your lightning protection system done by a qualified person who stick to, who adhere to IEC standards. And most often, having your lightning protection system according to IEC 62305 will be much cheaper or less costly than getting this fancy type fraudulent and wrong lightning protection systems.